All right, so we're back out on the field today. It's me and Lodge. Sean's back there in the woods somewhere. And Lodge just got something in the 90s signal out of this hole right here. What you got, Mr. Lodge? I got me a piece of silver, I think. Pretty neat piece of brass, something, I think. Silver. Uh, well, I just convinced the market. silver, but it's pretty, pretty neat. Pretty neat first find at this site. Let's keep digging. Alright, so I'm out today swinging the Apex. So I'm swinging the Apex with the Viper coil. And this hole right here is my first decent signal of the day. I'm hoping it's a copper. Maybe something old. We'll see. And I was right, that first signal it is a copper, 1981, with a D. Alright, so right here in this hole now, next to where there used to be a little picnic table, you see, the table's not here anymore, but it used to be here. I'm on my first dime of the day. Very nice. Alright, swinging the knocks as usual. I got my first sweet find of the day right here out of this hole. Kind of out here in the midst of a good bit of uh, woods, but I found, looks like a casino token. No cash value. Pretty cool. First token of the day, good find. I'll take it. Alright, so I'm over here by another picnic tail pad where there's not a picnic tail anymore. And right here in this hole I found my first quarter of the day. 25 cents richer. Looks like a steak quarter. Can't totally tell what it is, but quarter in the pot. Alright, the lodge is over there swinging. But right here, I have spotted a sweet surface find. Look at this. Look at that. Titleist. Only the best. Alright, so this hole right here about gave me a heart attack. You can see I was fighting the mineralized soil right there. And it kept, I kept getting a VI like 92, 93, and I'm hoping for something really excellent. And well, it turns out it's a state quarter. What well, looks like Illinois, I think. Illinois. But, all in all, pretty fun find, but, like I said, when I saw in the 90s, I was hoping for better, but, eh. Alright, we got another solid 29 signal in this hole right here. Turn on the pinpointer. This is a, oh, that's my shovel. Let's see what we got. There's something right here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. What do we have here? That's a pretty... This is just a pretty mangled quarter, I think. Let me clean this up just a bit and see what I can figure out. And this exactly what it is is a really, really mangled quarter. 80s. Couldn't catch the last number on it. But I've never got one that quite that mangled before. Pretty cool find. On to the next. I just dug this hole here. Lodge is pinpointing it for me. It's in the clod. Let's see what we've got. Let's see. What we've got. Oh, John, you're having me sad. What is it? Is Womp, womp. What brand is it, at least? Zero brand. There's nothing on it. Ah, garbage. This right here is just depressing. Look at this pull tab. Right? And this thing, look at this hole. That was uh, nearly a full pinpointer deep, at least seven inches. What a bunch of garbage. 
All right, we're ringing up at 2930 right here. Just dug it up out of the hole. It's a little bit jumpy, but we might have something fun. Let's see what we got. Sorry, I'm gonna hang up my headphones real quick. Oh, baby. You got your quarter? Oh, can I feel it? Let's see. Okay. See what we got? Is it silver? Oh, man, what's the state quarter in it? Oh, Let's man. see what state we got anyway. Yeah. We can get it cleaned up enough. Yeah, that's a... New nice. York. Nice. I've never found one of those. I'll take it. Good find. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the assist. You're welcome. Nice sweaty day out here today. Mm-hmm. All right, sweet. Right here, I found the surface... Clad dime looks like 95 with a D. Sweetness. Alrighty, so Lodge's over there digging something. Let's hope it's something great, but I'm finally on the board right here in this hole. I dug myself a 1978 copper penny. Finally on the board at this site. Let's keep a digging. Alright, right here, this hole. Digging up a 22, solid 22 signal. And this right there. Got some roundness. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's that was a button. It says something on there. Let me try to clean it up and see if I can't figure out what it says. Well, I couldn't get it that cleaned up while I was out here. But it looks like it says Panama Mobile. That's a pretty neat little button. Very cool find. This also says something on the back. But I can't really tell what it says. It's hard to clean the uh, crust off of it. But maybe we'll get it cleaned up. We'll see. Fun find. Oh, a surface find. Sick it! Alright. Ten cents richer. Clad dime. Looks like 92. All right, so this hole right here, right on the edge of the sidewalk, I just found a blast from the past. Look at that. Fago. I'm sure that was a delicious bottle of Red Pop or the clear cream soda, something good like that. Very nice. Let's keep digging. All right, so it's been a minute since I had a coin out of the 20th century, so that's a 1990 with a D. Not bad, 10 cents richer. So this hole I thought was going to be as another zinking, but it actually turned out to be much, much more fun. Look at that right there. If the camera will focus, that is Chuck E. Cheese 2008, where a kid can be a kid. You could have played a game of skee-ball with this token. That's always fun. This one is made of zinc. Alright, so I'm back on the quarters. This right here is a 2017 Effigy Mounds quarter. Sean found one of these exact same ones just last week. Pretty sweet. There's President Washington. Good day to you, sir. Alright, so this signal right here gave me a heart attack. It was like a rock solid 92 in every direction. Beautiful, clear signal, and it looks like a piece of copper flashing. I was hoping for better, but hey, scrap copper, not bad. On to the next. And I know that's Elijah's line, but I had to say it this time. On to the next. Alright, so watch this. I think I got two signals right here. So in the hole, that sounds like a zinkin. And in the plug, that sounds like maybe a clad dime or maybe a copper. Let's hope for the best. So I just pinpointed up the one that was in the quad. Let's, let's look at it together. I haven't looked at it yet. I cleaned it a little bit. Let's see. Clearly a Lincoln scent. What have we got? Oh, that looks like 1944. With Woo! 44, ladies, that's me! The D, let's hope that's true. And, oh, it's made of wheat 
Beautiful, beautiful wheat scent right there. Look at this thing. Man, that is gorgeous. This is the best condition wheat I've found, I think. Very nice wartime wheat. All right, so I was right about that other signal. I was just thinking, so my beautiful wheat, like I say, 1944 with a D. I'm going to put that into the CLAR fines box for safekeeping. And this one right here, I'll just stick that in my pocket. It'll go in the duck when I get home. All right, what does that right there say? It's Sadaka. Here is that scent from earlier into the Tadaka. Ah, All right, so I had a pretty fun hunt today, but right now it is getting majorly humid. I think it's about to rain. You can see the dark skies behind me. So let's do a quick CLAR roundup. All right, so you see the board. So you see there, you know, I got some random trash. This big piece of like doppelganger iron right there. Making me crazy splashing. Some pull tabs, just some straight garbage. Then I have right there, that looks like a full dozen. Lincoln sense. I mean, some of them are Zika! some of them are coppers, but eh, just regular pennies. I have three quarters, good quarter day. I have three dimes. Then I have that pretty beautiful, and it's not straight. That pretty beautiful Chuck E. Cheese token right there. That's always a fun find. Good token. And over here, certainly the find of this hunt. Is that beautiful 1944 with a D? Beautiful wartime wheat. One, like I say, fun hunt today. Always a good time when you're out on the field. And CLAR, as always, we dig it all. 24 6. All right, so quick CLAR roundup. What you got, Mr. Lodge? Okay, so I've got these two little U shaped things. I got this pull tab, two nails, and here is a little uh, earbud piece. Here is a door handle piece. Discussion. Discussion. Very and nice. And here's this little piece of copper. Pretty nice. It's got those ridges in it. Ridges in the mm -hmm. back. A little channel. Very neat. So my stuff. So I dug a bunch of trash there. You see a ring thing off of a tarp. You know, pull tabs, bobble caps. That's a full high life can right there. Titleist golf ball, only the best. I have a copper memorial and a clad dime. And now let's turn to Mr. Sean. What you got, Sean? I got a bunch of trash right here. Bunch a of good trash. bit of trash, but I also found some very cool things like this thing. I'm not sure what that is, but mm -hmm. I just thought it was neat. neat. End of a hose, copper. Yeah, neat. Very cool. Some zanks. A couple of copper pennies, a couple of quarters, and I found this sweet token. No cash value. The other side doesn't have any distinguishing marks, but it still looks pretty cool. I'm gonna get a close up of that. And then this cool little button that says Panama Mobile. I can't read what's on the back side, but I thought very, it was a very cool find. Very, very neat. All in all, very fun dig. Absolutely, and CLAR, as always, we dig it all. 24 6. 24 6. All right. I've already done my roundup, but I was just heading back to the car, but I can't stop swinging while I'm still walking. And I just found another clad dime. See, never stop digging.